What's up guys, we have a whole new org coming to Rocket League and they want to pick up the newly formed roster of ARG. However, that is not all because Dignitas has some troubles again and Scrub's roster is about to be signed. So let's get right to it. There it is guys, gamers first want to sign the roster of Mark by 8, Dorito and Atomic going into the next season. The tweet says exactly that, but with the second line we need to be a little bit more careful because it says the team is in NA to bootcamp for RLCS and fulfilling media requirements for G1. This does not mean there's going to be another cross region move. This just means that they are boot camping in NA because they are shooting probably the introduction videos for G1 who are NA based and therefore they just get some practice time over there and scrim NA teams. Nothing more, even though the community was thinking that in the beginning for whatever reason that they're gonna move over as well just like Gen G, but they don't. So this basically means we have another whole new orc entering Rocket League esports and I can't even tell you that much about them because they previously only competed in Halo and Destiny and they've only been formed like one year ago. I still think this is a great pickup and I knew when this roster was confirmed that they're gonna be signed by some org and that it is a whole new one now is a good sign for Rocket League in general. For the roster itself we cannot say too much either because they only played the RLE GG tournament last week but back then they were still in Europe and they had to play it on 120 ping because it was hosted by a crew in NA and therefore they had a pretty bad result. I think they went 1 and 3. So this doesn't say too much but we're gonna see what they are capable of when they go into the open qualifiers next week on Friday and that they will have to compete as they are are newly formed and will make their way through there. I don't have a single doubt in my head that they're going to make it. If you want to watch them do it, you got to look out for anyone saying that they stream it. It's not always the case that they stream their qualifiers, but most of the time the top teams do. Next up, we have Torrin releasing Magic Bear and it was a little bit of an open secret because he wanted to team up with Rattles and AJ. And I had a whole video about it because it looked very likely that it's going to happen. And only one hour later, it happened with an absolute quality video that all three got introduced by Optic Gaming. And now it is finally official. After the back and forth, Rattles, AJ and Magic Bear gonna play under Optic Gaming. Rattles, after the announcement, was live streaming and he talked a little bit about this team and what it means to him. First of all, he said it was a dream of his to play for this organization and that everyone feels very comfortable in their new position on the team. Magic Bear, according to Rattles, is very open to criticism and plays smart Rocket League, while AJ is gonna take a playmaker role, which he couldn't on face because First Killer did it over there. Rattles said, we finally gonna see the full potential of AJ now that he is unleashed. For himself, he said he's once again taken a more supportive role just like on SSG and let the others shine while opening up space and I think this role suits him very well and therefore I thought it sounded quite nice what he said about the organization, his team and I expect great things of him. They also, by the way, gonna have to play the qualifiers which for them already start on Friday. So we're gonna see what they can do but I expect a lot from this roster. This move now, on the other hand, left two guys behind and those were Dries and Alu who still were officially under contract with Optech but now they had to look for something else and it was reported that Dries is gonna join Dignitas alongside Andy and Zanil. Yesterday towards the evening then, Zanil has decided to not join Dignitas and we'll be teaming up with J-Pow and Turbo to form a new team. They already have an organization lined up as well, which Zanir probably feels more comfortable with. So he's gonna go with this one and this left Dignitas looking for a third now. You gotta keep in mind that the roster locks in NA are already today when this video drops. So there's not much time to find a new one. And according to Shift a couple of hours later once again, it said that it is between Delta and Illusion to round out this roster. The question of who it's gonna be was basically answered by Delta's teammates because he was playing on the roster called Loco with Beast Bonium and Turin Toro. And they tweeted that they are looking for one with only 24 hours left before the roster lock. So this was a heavy hit for them, but they also stated that they don't want any hate on Delta for this so they can totally understand why he would want to play with Dignitas and not the Orcless Loco. Shift confirmed this as well. Delta looks set to round out the Dignitas roster. Loco now looking for one. Going into next season we will 
then see a Dignitas roster with Dries, Andy and Delta. Bisponium and Turo are looking for a third and Illusion is still a free agent as he did not get the job on Dignitas. This might make you think why don't they just team? Sometimes there are personal preferences that kind of deny these moves that from the outside might look like they would be a good deal. So we're gonna see what they go with and if Illusion maybe forms a bubble team or if he joins that roster. But now before we continue with another big or coming back to Rocket League we need to talk about my sub count real quick. There often times in the comments are people complaining that my sub count is too low for what I do so you need to help me to increase it. <laughs> Would be awesome if you hit that sub button real quick so we can reach 5k before the first regional starts. Now let's finally move to the big orc I was talking about and it is SK Gaming rumored to sign this roster of Scrub Killer, Rai and Nas. I talked about this roster specifically a lot in my last video because everyone but Scrub is fairly unknown. I said it's basically a big gamble because Scrub is the former world champion and he's teaming up with players who are a bit unproven, but SK Gaming wants to get back into Rocket League. They had a very unsuccessful stint in spring with Fruity, Carrion and Econ, but now they want to bank on this roster and I'm not entirely sure about this move because I think SK Gaming is quite underrated. They are a big organization, bigger than most people think, and they probably could have gone for something else like Archie's new roster or Cash new roster or even top blokes. But they decided against it and I think this roster deserves a fair shot because we don't even know how good they they are. And with a veteran like Scrub on there who is very good on defense, they could actually have some pretty deep runs if the roster works on a pitch. But it would be awesome to hear from you guys what you think about this roster. As of last guys, the sponsorship with myself was running out so I gotta do it on my own and shout out my Discord. I always do it towards the end of the video and every day there are new people joining and discussing Rocket League Esports with us. It's pretty awesome to see and maybe you are interested in joining as well. That however is gonna be it for today and I'll see you guys next time.